Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that has been on my mind for a long time and I've seen it in the comments a lot, but I usually refrain from answering these types of questions and that's the topic of religion and what I believe. And I think the reason that I'm hesitant to talk about that is um, just the general you know, attacking that comes along with voicing your beliefs and your religion. But today I decided to gain the courage and just tell you briefly what I believe and just let you guys take it how you will. I grew up in a very small community and I was raised as a Latter-day Saint, which the nickname is Mormon. So I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or Mormon, if you will. And I was raised in a very loving home. My parents taught the Bible as well as the Book of Mormon. And it, it was always an atmosphere of of love and acceptance and I never felt um, like my religion was pushed upon me or that I had to do, you know, I had to believe what my parents believed. It was just something that was generally taught because that's what my parents believed. And of course as I got older I did question what I was raised believing, um, but I found that when I questioned those things I just challenged them more and I dove into them more to really understand for myself if that was what I believed or not. And through doing that and through the experiences in my life, I, my faith has only been strengthened and I believe what I believe with all of my heart. And so with that being said, I'll just tell you the basics of what I personally believe um, and you guys can take it for what it is. So I believe in God. I believe that there's a God and he is, he is like a man and I'm created in his image. I'm his daughter. And I also believe in Jesus Christ, that he is my savior, and that he suffered and he died for my sins. And um, it always happens when I talk about what I believe because I do believe it so deeply. So sorry, I don't wanna weird you guys out or freak you out, but I'm just gonna put it out there because you guys have asked for it. I believe in the Bible. I believe the words that the Bible teaches, but I also believe that the Book of Mormon is scripture as well and that it was translated by Prophet Joseph Smith in our time. And I also believe that there's a prophet today and his name is Thomas S. Monson and that he receives revelation from God today. I believe very strongly in life after death and that our spirits live on after we die and that that is just part of the great plan that God has for us. Um, each of us are on this path together but we all have a bigger plan and a bigger purpose. Um, and that this earth life is not where we started and it's not where we're ending up. And I've had a lot of experiences in my life that lead me to believe this, um, of which I probably will not share with you today. And maybe I'll gain the courage to share them in the future, but just take that for what it is. I really believe that there is life after death and um, that we all have a purpose. So those are some very basic things that I believe. And I know that there's a lot of debate that goes along with religion, but the one main thing that hopefully you guys can take away from this is that I believe in God and I believe that our first commandment is to love Him and the only way to love Him is by loving each other. We are all here together, we are all in different walks of life and all on different paths and it's not our place to judge each other, um, it's only our place to help each other through what we're all going through. It's really a beautiful process when you sit back and look at it that way. Um, if we could all just look at each other as brothers and sisters and that you know all the, all those little differences wouldn't really matter just love each other <laughs> that's the most important thing it really is it doesn't matter what i believe it doesn't matter what you guys believe religiously speaking but we're all here together and we're all trying to be happy and we're all trying to find joy and i feel like the reason i'm on this path that i'm on is because i found that and every day i live what I believe and according to what has spoken to me in my heart, then I feel joy and I feel happiness. And a lot of people have asked us, why are you guys such a happy family? Why, you know, why do you guys seem like you're happy all the time? And that's really the bottom line. It's because of what I believe and because of what I've, I've tested in my beliefs and I've found joy and I've found happiness and following those things. And as far as teaching my kids what I believe, I think I'll do the same thing that my parents did. I will teach them according to what I truly believe inside. And they can take it for what they will. They can choose to live it or choose not to live it. But regardless of what they choose, I will love them. 
and I will love them so deeply because I have since the moment they were placed in my arms. And that's not going to change according to what they decide to believe and what path they choose. Being a parent is hard enough. I don't want to set limitations on my love for my kids. Um, that's been a question I've seen a lot in the comments is, will you love your kids regardless of whether they, they live your religion or not? And um, the answer is, of course. I love my kids and I love what I believe and I believe it strongly and I know that if I, I just live what I believe, my kids will see my sincerity and that they will know that I love them and that doesn't matter. That's the most important thing. Just love each other. Oh, I sound like a commercial now, but just love each other. <laughs> um, I hope you guys can just take that for what it is. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but go give somebody a smile today because that's the most important thing. Just love each other. And love yourself because you are wonderful and you have purpose. And you are wonderful. I said that twice, but you're wonderful. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Please leave questions in the comments below, and leave me video responses. I haven't been receiving very many, so get those cameras out and don't be shy. I just bore my heart out to you, and I'm a little nervous now, but there you go. <laughs> I love you. We'll see you next time. Bye.